All right, let's talk about AI. It's everywhere, right? It's in our phones, it's writing emails, it's making art. But have you ever stopped to think about what's really happening behind the screen, about its physical footprint in the real world? Because it turns out all that digital magic comes with a very real world cost. So we're gonna to get to the bottom of one very specific and pretty surprising question. When you're chatting with an AI, how much water does that conversation actually use? The answer, well, it's a lot more than you probably think. Okay, so check this out. For a really simple query, like a basic chatbot, you're using a tiny amount of water, just a few drops. But when you start having a real conversation with a powerful AI like ChatGPT, whoa, the numbers just explode. After about 20 to 50 prompts, you've used around half a liter of water. That's an entire water bottle, just for one chat session. Now, one water bottle might not sound like that big of a deal, but that's just for one person. The real story, the real impact, becomes clear when we zoom out way out. And look at this on a global scale. This is where that little drop becomes a flood. First, let's just start with the number of users. A single major AI service can have something like 100 million people actively using it. That's our starting point. A massive number of people asking questions all day every day. Now, let's say each of those 100 million people makes just 10 queries a day, which is probably a really low estimate. Suddenly, you're looking at 1 billion queries every single day. The scale is just, it's already getting hard to wrap your head around. So you do the math. You take those billion daily queries and you multiply it by the water needed for each one, and you get to a truly staggering number. On the high end, these AI services could be using up to 50 million liters of water daily. So what does 50 million liters even look like? Picture this, it's enough water to fill 20 Olympic-sized swimming pools. And remember, that's not a one-time thing. That is the hidden water cost of AI, paid over and over every single day. So our next question is probably, why, right? Is the AI, I don't know, drinking it? Well, not exactly. The thirst doesn't come from the AI software itself. It comes from the enormous, very physical hardware that has to run it. The key term you need to know here is evaporative cooling. Honestly, the easiest way to think about it is that data centers sweat. Just like your body sweats to cool you down when you get hot, these facilities do the exact same thing just on a massive industrial scale. Here's how it works. First, you've got thousands of super powerful servers all running these AI models. They generate an unbelievable amount of heat. So to keep them from literally melting down, fresh water is pumped into these giant cooling systems. Then that water evaporates, and as it turns into vapor, it carries all that waste heat away with it. And that brings us to the most critical part of this whole story. If AI needs millions of liters of water every single day for this cooling process, where on earth is all that water coming from? It's a fair question, right? You're probably thinking it. The planet is covered in oceans. Why not just use that? It seems like such an obvious fix. But it turns out there are some really big problems with that idea. For starters, salt and metal aren't friends. Salt water is incredibly corrosive. It would just shred all that expensive, sensitive cooling equipment. Well, couldn't you just take the salt out? You could, that's called desalination, but it's extremely expensive and uses a ton of energy, which kind of creates its own environmental problem. And besides, most of these data centers are built way inland, nowhere near a coast. And this, this is the part that is really shocking. The water that's being turned into vapor to cool our AI prompts isn't seawater. It's fresh water. Often, it's clean, drinking quality water. The same stuff that comes out of our taps. And this is where the real conflict starts. Because by tapping into our fresh water supplies, these giant data centers are now in direct competition with, well, us, with our most basic human needs. Just think about it. These data centers are drawing from the very same municipal sources that supply our towns and cities with drinking water. They're pulling from the same rivers and lakes that farmers need to irrigate crops and that entire ecosystems rely on to survive. It's one limited source with a brand new and very thirsty user. This quote from the research really just hits the nail on the head. It's not just about using water. It's a direct trade-off. Every liter that evaporates to cool a server is a liter that can't be used to grow food or quench someone's thirst. So we're left with this massive, urgent question, the AI revolution. It's really just getting started. These models are only going to get more powerful, more common, and because of that, a whole lot thirstier. The challenge for all of us then is to figure out how we balance the incredible promise of this technology with the very real and very finite 
limits of our planet's most precious resource.